Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Right, um, I've had this beer a few months or so. Um, I've had a few beers, I've done reviews on this channel. Um, it's from the Wild Beer Company and it's their Evolver IPA. It's coming in at 5.8% ABV um, and it's brewed with Brettamyces yeast. Um, they're quite a experimental brewery with certainly with what I've had so far and I think most of their beers are that of that sort of you know caliber not the lager um, for the first three months of this beer it's tasted fresh like a pale ale this is what it's saying on the bottle um, and then after that it it says the then the different flavor compounds start to shine um, and after six months the Brett really takes hold so I think the idea of this beer is kind of um, it's trying to push the boundaries of the hoppiness in this beer shelf life wise with the Brett and my seas yeast that's the impression I'm getting but anyway I don't know what hops are used in this beer um, it's in a 330ml bottle yeah, hops, Brett and my season hops. So, drink wildly different, completely. Um, there's their usual bottle cap. Let's get this beer out. As I say, I've had this beer a fair while. It's a bit of smoke. There's a little bit of uh, you can see half a finger of foam in the bottle neck. I've gone for a Duval glass. Let's try and let's go down the center a little bit. So yeah, it's definitely had a bit of yeast there. There's a different kind of slight light brown foam coming in the beer. So if I keep looking up there, I've got some row teenagers giving me a bit of stick wondering what I'm doing but I'm gonna carry on so the beer in the glass is a two finger white head big frothy bubbles on top it's quite orangey color there's no light coming through the beer um, it's kind of like a light colored orange really let's get an aroma on this uh, five is it five point eight percent ABV IPA And you're really picking up on the on the yeast strain a little bit. A lot of their beers have got that kind of funkiness yeast going on. Tropical notes. Very citrusy. It smells like one of them kind of Belgium hopped IPAs, that kind of thing. A little bit grassy as well, a bit of mango, orangey, tangerine, maybe some white grape as well to you know mix it in a bit. It smells really nice anyway. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh wow. very kind of sweet bitter right at the very front the mozzies have come out to play already I'll be glad when they all go to be honest with you hmm. you're really picking up the yeast strain it's got that real kind of tang to it that's completely different to most other yeast strains you can taste it's very hard to describe the yeast strain, but very familiar once you've once you know what it is and you try it, you kind of know. To me, anyway, certainly on the two or three beers I've had from this company, and they do use a lot of Brett and my CG yeast. I don't know if it's in every beer they do. It could well be.
this is a perfect glass to have it in. Oh, that's so nice. Right, let me try and explain this beer. I always get sidetracked to I'm drinking it like I'm drinking it in a pub or, you know, giving that kind of a review. So first of all, it's a very kind of bittersweet right at the very front end. And it goes into a kind of a dry hotness in the middle palate. Lemon. Maybe a bit of lime in, in, in with that. Slight grassiness. Not the lager grassiness, but the, you know. <coughs> pardon me. It's a little bit carbonated. Can't really see it in that, but... <coughs> You can tell by the birch master that it's um, it's definitely got a bit of uh, carbonation in it. It it looks like a like an orange, you know. I've, I I have no idea what hop save used. I don't know if it mentions it. There's quite there's three big paragraphs there. I'm not going to be bothered to all read it all. If you want to pause the video, you're more than welcome. Could probably read it better than me. They're out of barley malt, oats, oats, sorry, oats and wheat. Um, some say, I believe, wildbeerco.com. Uh, I do no research on a lot of beers I have. Yeah, at, they're on Twitter at wildbeer.co, um, a capital to every three of those, and on Facebook, they're wildbeer.co, Facebook, um, pretty sure they're out of Somerset, yeah, Somerset, Shepton, Shepton Mullet. Or mallet. Check to mallet. So yeah. A 5.8%. Is it drinking like one? Not at all. Very tangy. It's one of them beers you'd love to session. Um, I've had this on keg before. Earlier in the year. Um, it was fantastic. Um down at Ravensgate Arms, which reminds me, um, I think I may have got this from the Ravensgate, I can't actually remember, it's on one of my unboxing videos I think, it's either there or it's one of my last beer 52 um, boxes, I'm not sure. Um, it's got a best before date of the 31st of October 2016. It's got a massive shelf life on this. Um, as it says on the back of the bottle, it's probably to do with them Brettomyces yeast to extend the shelf life a little bit more, which is very clever, I think. Um, they're saying it's could become more complex, which with a hoppy beer, generally it doesn't, but the, the Brettomyces yeast is holding it all together a little bit more than a a bog standard yeast would do. That's the impression that it's giving anyway. Um, so yeah, it's kind of an interesting excuse to extend the shelf life, I guess. I've no idea. Um, just my assumption. Put your comments down below if I'm wrong, which I more certainly am. So I generally am anyway, so it doesn't bother me. If I learn, I learn. It's great. I just love good beer and knowledge of beer and what little knowledge I give to you guys I you know um, which there'll be quite a few that will know more than me and share it back it's all good at the end of the day we all like beer yeah it's really pleasant 
very nice. Astro rating, that's a 9 out of 10. All day long. Really good. So if you've had Wild Beer Co. Evolver IPA, coming in at 5.8% ABV, put your comments down in the comments box. Please subscribe. And cheers.